Hello student, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will teach you your science topic is light and this is your second lecture. As we have discussed in lecture 1, properties of light and several topics. Okay, so in second lecture we will discuss about in deep some properties of the light. Okay, so let's start. In previous lecture, we have discussed about the properties of light and some questions from the images. Okay, we have discussed about the type of images. So, we have there are two types of images. First one is real image, and second one is virtual image so image has two type one is first one is real image and second one is virtual image so we will discuss about these uh, these two images one by one okay so first is real image First is real image. See beta. If any light start from Okay, so from this figure, what is the real image? See beta, when any light start from the object, when any light start from the object and after reflection or reflect, reflection, reflection or refraction. Okay, when any ray of light start from the object and after reflection or refraction it actually meets it actually meets at some point this is its meeting point okay meeting point is O okay once again when any ray of light start from the object and after reflection or refraction it actually meets at some point it actually meets at some point that will form a real image that will form a real image what i have told you that is actually meet okay so these two two ray coming from coming from this object Okay, and after the reflection, it actually meets at point O. So, it will form a real image. It will form a real image. Okay, real image has some properties. Real images has some property. Number one, it is inverted. Once again, so now properties real images are inverted. real images are inverted means 
if object side see this one is your object case if we want to if we want to make a real image of this object then we will find like that see this one is the real image it is also called inverted image okay so real images are inverted images real this one is the object if you want to form the inverted inverted image of this object then this bottom will become top and top will become bottom this is known as inverted image okay the second property second property is second property is real images can be obtained on the screen okay real real images can be obtained on screen real you can see real images on the screen as like uh, movie hall as like uh, it is ever it is able to able to make a picture make a picture like passport size photo because of this real images can be obtained on a screen because your image your image is captured in form of real image and after that that can easily that can be easily obtained on a screen after that that will be printed on a postcard and then give it to you okay so these are the two properties of real image first one first one is real images are known also known as inverted image and second one real images can be obtained on screen okay now we will move to virtual image virtual image okay same thing beta same thing when any ray of light start from the object when any ray of light start from the object and okay so if any ray of light is start from the object this one is ray of light this one is reflection or refraction okay when any ray of light is start from the object and after reflection or refraction it it does not actually meet at any point it does not actually meet at any point see the direction of both the rays the direction of both the rays is away from each other it is away from each other it will never meet it will never meet if it will go further okay so it does not actually meet at any point but it appears it appears means we just assume that it will meet at somewhere here somewhere here if we if we just imagine that this ray will will go in back side this point and this uh, this row will go in back side this point so it will meet each other at point o dash which is meeting point okay it is not actually a, it is not a actual point it is a just imaginary point 
which you have assumed which you have assumed okay so what is virtual image virtual image when any ray any ray start from the object and after reflection and reflection it does not actually meet at any point but it appears to meet at some point okay now the property of properties number one what are the properties these are the erect images erect images means same to same okay this is the erect image of this object this one is object and this one is image okay so this is the erect images and the second property is what is the second property the uh, these are these are the erect images and we cannot obtained on a screen okay these images cannot be obtained on the screen okay this uh, this is the difference between uh, the these are the difference of real images and virtual images uh, uh, also this is the property of that's why it is called the virtual images why because we cannot obtain on a screen so whatever we are seeing in our real life those all are the real images not the virtual one okay okay now we will move some step further in this in this chapter light which is application of rectilinear propagation of light okay rectilinear propagation of light okay so we start So, application of rectilinear propagation of light, okay? So, what is the rectilinear propagation of light? We have already discussed in lecture 1. So, you will see that video of, the, uh, of this, uh, the same chapter and lecture 1. So, uh, in short, rectilinear propagation of light because of light travels in a straight line that is that property is known as rectilinear propagation of light so what is the application of that so first application is pinhole camera see you are very familiar with the word that is camera you are very very familiar with this word camera you have taken selfies but you have ever think that how it is just captured by a click how it uh, how it is just captured our images do you ever think that so here is the phenomena this pinhole camera always pinhole camera is based on the propagation of light rectilinear propagation of light this is the application of rectilinear propagation of light first one is pinhole camera pinhole camera is totally works on the rectilinear propagation of light so what will happen in this one see beta this one is a blackened box. Blackened box means totally black box. Okay. Here is one hole which is known as pin hole. And this is a screen. This surface will work as a screen which is used for the images. Formation of image. Okay. One ray start from the top of the object. One ray start from the top of the object and hit this pin hole. And come on this, uh, this screen. And then the same way from the dog, uh, from the bottom, 
वन रे हिट दिस पिन होल पिन होल एंड फॉल्स ऑन दिस स्क्रीन इट देन वी विल गेट एन इमेज विच इज इनवर्टेड विच इज इनवर्टेड इमेज विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रियल इमेज ओके विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रियल इमेज इनवर्टेड इमेज एंड रियल इमेज ओके नाउ सो दिस इज द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ पिन होल कैमरा पिन होल कैमरा ऑलवेज वर्क ऑन द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ रेक्टिलीनियर प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ लाइट ओके ना दिस सी यू आर सींग दिस ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दिस वन इज इमेज ऑब्जेक्ट इज बिगर देन द इमेज ऑब्जेक्ट इज ग्रेटर देन इमेज सो वॉट इज द प्रॉपर्टी वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स विच अफेक्ट द साइज ऑफ द इमेज ओके सो वी विल डिस्कस दिस size of the image size of the image okay size of the images so we will understand from this figure very clearly this is object or we can replace this shape from an arrow which will be very good for you see this one is we will see this as a object this one is pin hole camera okay and this one is image image of the object image of the object so what are the factors that uh, that will affect the size of the image see size of the image totally depend on the distance totally depend on the distance if this distance if we will take this distance as a and this distance as b okay so object distance from the pinhole camera is a and image distance from the pin hole camera is b then if distance of object increases from from camera then the size of image is also increased okay once again if the distance of object increases from camera then the size of the image is also increased means how much distance it will take it will uh, it will go away from the camera okay this object will go away from the camera it will get it will get an incre increment in the image increment in the image distance increase size will be increased distance increase size increase distance increase size increase okay see we better understand from this one these are the pinhole camera here is the three condition object is same in each condition
ऑब्जेक्ट इज सेम इन ईच कंडीशन बट एट बट एट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस पिन होल कैमरा ओके दीज आर द पिन होल कैमरा पिन होल कैमरा पिन होल कैमरा एंड दीज आर द ऑब्जेक्ट ओ वन ऑब्जेक्ट ओ टू एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ओ थ्री सो इफ यू विल गेट द इमेजेस देन वी विल गेट okay with the increasing distance image is increased with the decrease in distance decrease in image decrease in distance decrease in image so as we increase the distance of the object we will get a bigger size of the image okay here is the characteristic of images found by the pinhole camera so here are the three characteristic of images found by the pinhole camera one is, first one is these are the real images first one is these are the real images whatever the uh, what uh, what are the properties of the real images that is the same properties of images found by the pinhole camera that are these are the real images second one is these are the inverted images inverted images means top become bottom and bottom become top of the object and in image and the uh, third one is they can be obtained on screen they can be obtained on screen all the real images can be obtained on the screen that's why they are uh, that's why the pinhole camera forms real images